Um, Boffin says, I never got to play that game, Last of Us 2. Yeah, I, I've never played it either. I have I have a PS4. I have The Last of Us. I just don't have a capture card. Otherwise, I'd be probably streaming some of that right now. Um, Watch on YouTube, says Remington. Some of the best writing. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I, I haven't watched any of it, but I... People have just... Word of mouth to say that it's amazing and all that. You've been around. Bet you've seen some real craziness. Not just in Helios. Save it, kid. Go bug someone else. The hell? What was that for? I've seen a thousand humans like you. Don't make me pretend you are the one who won't die. You're what, two? Come back when there's hair on whatever it is you have. <laughs> Remnant pillars. Ahead. Savage. Might give us trouble. Let's go over here. Cause we're talking about the like Last of Us 2 and Sony stuff. But there's Ked in there. I will say that Spider-Man game they showed at Sony's press conference looks amazing. I'm into that. I'm into Spider-Man. I like it. Uh, but God of War, dude, God of War looks amazing. Enemies. Definitely into God of War. Never played any of the games, but I'm in on that one. Wait, there's a guy over here? <laughs> the fire. The is down. No, no, no. <sighs> this is the problem when you don't have, when the game doesn't have metagel and I can just not heal whenever I want to. I either have to find a forward station to heal or I don't know. There's no consumable that heals me. Which is stupid. So I guess we won't fight that yet. Gillian Verge diving Let's go to this forward station first. Scout ship to gut the pilot. Suck it up, kid. Suck it up, kid. You suck it up, Drac. Don't make the don't make those comments when I die. Where's the forward station at? That's what I want. Mid goddamn forward station. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. There we go, boys. That's what I need. Reminds me of Christmas in the mountains. That's a bright side, yeah? Whatever you think of it. This is a beautiful planet. Thinking about a frozen moon I was once stranded on, almost lost my good toe. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your Dude, system. freaking... Freaking Drac, man. Uh... uh... One step closer to 115 deaths. God dang it, man. God dang it. Mike is going to get to his bet and quit the game. Yeah, my guess was 87. Yeah. Because everyone was like super high, man. People were like 100 plus, 100 plus. Like, I understand, but I'm like... The temperature is full. I think we can, we can do under 100. Because, guys, you know, I, I could just rush the game, you know? I could just rush the game, rush to the end. GG, we did it. Okay, let's go back and take care of these suckers over here. Problem with this frozen tundra is there's no cover. So, Drac. Answer is no. You haven't heard the question. 50-50 shot of saving us both some time. Again. 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 Die, return to the spot, 
no enemies unless they're coming in right now. What? <sighs> that doesn't make any sense, game. What is, is the game starting to feel bad for me now? Or are they just like, he died, just take the enemies out. He doesn't need to fight him again. Yeah, like even, there were remnant bots that were around here. They're not here anymore. I don't know, man. Your OCD would never allow for such a thing. You're probably right. Close some material. This feels awfully buggy, for sure. I mean, this isn't the first time it's happened. Hey there, well, there's nothing here anyway. Let's see if we can find this hidden cache. Then we'll check out that Angara uh, camp or whatever it is. By the time it took you to get back, they froze to death. Wow! Having a vet like you makes me think we have a shot at this. Reminds me of a merc group I tangle with, led by this scarred Arcturian. You trying to tell me a war story? How about you just keep your head up? Fine. Forget I said anything. See, I figured that uh, Drac and Liam would have a lot of banter. There's, there's definitely a lot they're being discussed. N7, Valkyrie 3. So, in our, uh, if you're wondering how we're finding these hidden caches, um, I have a perk from the AVP thing that allows me to find all the hidden caches. So, uh, that's why there's so much on the map. Guess we'll go pull up there and check that out. Let's do that. So meta. Look at my vehicle just slide. Yeah. All right. Uh. I don't know what that is called. Yeah. This looks like the starting map in Borderlands 2. It does feel a little bit Borderlandsy. I've only played the first Borderlands before I got bored with it. I beat it. Looks like a but research station of some sort. Wonder what they I got down bored there. with it. Let's see if someone here needs help. I got bored with Borderlands. Borderlands bored me. Rinse repeat, rinse repeat. Ice everywhere and they hang on to that piece. What's so special about it? Someone around here probably knows what that ice is for. Reminds me of a snooty bar in London that only served drinks over fancy off-world ice. What? Speak to Skiot. So boring out here. I'm living in normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Give me that Life normal temp. Restored. I really hate how Sam is always like repeating stuff that we've already heard before like uh yeah this is a heating area or you know did you know you could scan here guys did you know what you could scan and mine here i wish there was a thing that turns that off there might be i just don't know about it but uh it would be kind of cool if you could just have a snowboard just saying a hover board let's have that a hoverboard. 
It was one game my potato could run. DLCs were good. I really loved that zombie island. Did you guys hear about the, um, you guys, I don't know, I don't know how many of you are going to be into this, um, there's a new XCOM, uh, like, DLC or expansion thing that's coming out in August, um, for XCOM 2, and it looks pretty good. I don't know, we might revisit that game. I had a lot of fun streaming it back in, I think, uh, the November-ish time when we did that. And there was, um, that was a lot of fun. So, we might, uh, revisit that when that expansion comes out or whatever. They told me you might be coming through. Watch your step. We buried data probes in the snow. What is this place? Jara Station. The only research base on Vold, educated on Aya, trained by the Resistance. What do you study? What's your focus out here? Glacial movement, seismology, climate, anything Aya needs from us. Resources are tight, so our scientists know a bit of everything. That way, we're prepared for anything. Belden says, yes. Awesome, man. Awesome. Remington says, I'm dying to play XCOM. Baba says, has never heard of XCOM. You need to go, and you need to go to Google right now, and you need to type XCOM. It's pretty, co it's pretty cool. It's a, uh, it's a turn-based strategy game um, with, like, the whole, like, X amount of tiles you can move. You can uh, put yourself on... Uh, Overwatch, which is this thing that if there's any alien movement that comes, then you can automatically fire. You can take cover, um, do different powers and stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I'm not really into strategy games, but XCOM is one that makes an exception because it's just so good. You battle aliens, it's awesome. Um, I've streamed XCOM, Enemy Unknown, Enemy Within... And the most recent was XCOM 2 back in November, which was a lot of fun. So we'll probably be doing that. It's pretty good. Who doesn't love killing aliens? Um, also, and speaking to that specific style, there's a freaking Mario, like, XCOM style game that's coming out too. Of course, it's only for the Nintendo Switch. It looked pretty good, actually. I was, I was digging it. I love I love the XCOM style, so uh, I, I'm not I'm not gonna buy a Nintendo Switch for it. But if I did, I'd probably play that game. Are you in charge here? Lead researcher, worked as a seismologist on Aya before I volunteered for Hijara. You volunteered? We all did. Aya is fine, but all that green gets boring. I can't speak for the rest, but I came here for the adventure. So far, Vault has lived up to my expectations. Always a new mountain to scale. Boffa says, that sounds pretty cool. The graphics are potato, though. Oh, you're probably looking at the old... The, they, they had original XCOM, which came out, like, yeah, back in the 90s. And then they recently, like, remade it or sort of rebooted it. And... It's been within the last, like, seven years that those games. So if you do XCOM Enemy Unknown or XCOM 2, check out those images. A lot better. A lot better. Um, Velnan says, that game literally is a feel-good that makes me feel, uh, feel better and can be replayed so much. With lack of Andromeda DLC announced, it was a nice surprise, uh... It was so nice of this to surprise me with that DLC. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea that they were going to even be doing anything with that, but... You get some new classes, uh, some new aliens to deal with, probably some new maps, some new weapons, like... I'm in, man. I'm in. I'm freaking in. Uh, 
Customization of XCOM 2 is insane. Yeah. I, that's the thing. Like, I didn't even... When we played XCOM 2, I didn't really customize a lot of things. I did name soldiers after viewers and stuff um, and kind of customize it a little bit, but you can do so much more with that. And then I never even touched any of the Long War uh, mods, like, in either of the games. Um, so... A lot of people really enjoy the Long War uh, mods. How long has the station been around? Only a few years. This used to be Ket territory before the Resistance pushed them out. We've discovered a wealth of resources the Ket protected out here. Metals, minerals, even a new species of edible cold weather fungus. All that was hidden under the ice? And more. We've only scratched the surface. All right, I'll come sir. Back if I need anything. I'll be here. Also, the best way to play XCOM is to enable Iron Man mode, which is which means you cannot save scum. If somebody dies during a mission, they're dead. You can't reload. You just got to go with the the choices you make and the consequences you receive. So, we did that every single time that we streamed those games, which was pretty fun. Makes it intense, man. Well, I haven't seen many of your kind around here, but I've heard lots about the Pathfinder from my friends on Aya. All good things, I hope. So far. Let's see what you have. Oh, well, actually, how's business first? Do you get much business out here? I do all right. The trick is to not stay in one place too long. I travel between here and Techix. Sometimes they even make it up to the resistance camp. Isn't that dangerous with the cat all around? I've had a few close calls, but they haven't caught me yet. The stars are on my side. See what you got. I'll take a look at your stock. Got plenty of supplies. I hope you have consumables, because I really want that. Incinerary ammo. God. So much. Like, he here's the thing. 36 hours in this game, I have not had the need to use credits you don't really get credits from like looting things I honestly don't know how you make credits or how you get credits is you just sell items because you just don't just find it on people uh, which is weird because in all the other Mass Effect games credits was a huge deal this game 36 hours and we really haven't used it <laughs> which is a little bit annoying I guess they want you to just develop, like, items and then sell stuff, but I don't know. It's really odd. It's it's really odd. It, it's, it's like, we're basically playing this game, even though there's credits in this game, it's like we're playing it as if there were no credits at all. I don't know. But, uh... Belden says, I'm still playing Stellaris right now with Halo Universe mods, so I play as the UNSC and a galaxy feels awesome. Dude, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Remington's credit don't go credits don't grow on trees? Weird. I know, man. So weird. Alright, well, you don't have anything that I really care to buy. Heading over. What's going on, fellas? Terminal. Yavara. I don't know what to do, Noth. Noeth. The outsiders are killing Yavara. We don't have the means to stop them. There are so few left. What if our last piece of history goes extinct? How do we live with ourselves if we do nothing? I've half a mind to go out there and stop them. I can't let Yavara suffer like this. I won't let their song be silenced. Field report. Uh, we made it to that mountain peak you had your eye on. You're right. It's an Iraq nesting ground. I wish you could see it, Noeth. I've never seen so many infant Iraqs in one place. They seem to be working together as a community to care for their young. It's a behavior no biologist has witnessed before. What we're seeing today could change Iraq research for years. I don't know how you knew this would be here. But your instincts were spot on yet again. I can't wait for you to see the hollow captures I've taken. Uh, 
Okay. Finish looking around here. There's some of that. There's some iridium here. To be fair, the previous game was in a galaxy with an actual developed economy. It would be like going to another planet with dollar bills and expecting them to be worth something. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Last stream I was talking about that. Different species have different currency, like Angara using something that ain't credits. Yeah, when we first landed on their planet, I mentioned it will most likely be a barter system of some sort. Or like, do this for me and I'll give you something you want. Yeah, that's true. This is true. Not a lot of people live in the Andromeda Galaxy. Uh, and most of them came over from the whole Andromeda initiative, so... That makes sense. Passy. I thought it said Pepsi. This isn't Haval. You spend too long out there in the dark, you'll get weak, sick, or worse. It's bad. I get it. How do I stay alive? The moment you see sunlight, break cover. Soak up all the rays you can. I'll be a target. Not for long. You'll get a lot from just five minutes of exposure. After that, get back undercover. The human is listening to us. You here to learn survival tips from old Percy? Light. Why does your kind need the sun? We draw nourishment from solar radiation. Keeps us sharp. Even healed minor injuries. But we have to keep out of sight. Or the cat will spot us. Advice? You sound like an expert, and I'd like to survive. What I can teach wouldn't help. Different biology. Your body can't store a charge. That's right. I think we found out last session that the reason that there's these... Uh, these sort of radiated lights is because Angara need the sun. They need the, the rays of the sun... Uh, to kind of function as a species, so they kind of do that and have things that kind of simulate the sun, uh, especially on planets like this. Sickness. If you go too long without sunlight, do you get sick? Lack of regular exposure puts our bodies under stress. Too much of that, and we're no use to anyone. I have to keep my strength up for the resistance. Pretty cool. Good luck out there. I'm ready to go, Pussy. Not so fast. You still don't know how to read a weather pattern. So are you going to tell me? There's a lot to learn. Okay, so don't tell Come me then. There. I'm ready to go, Pussy. Not so fast. You still don't know how to read a oh, weather pattern. Oh, you were talking to him, not talking to me. Gotcha. Whoops. That moment you think that you're the one being talked to. I mean, it says, make all the universe use dollars like the good Americans we are. Spreading out de democracy to Andromeda. <laughs> Janleth, I'm pretty sure there's something here. They were probably affected by the scourge. The micro variety in the top layer is completely different. They contain traces of four different radioactive isotopes. Could be something else. Industrial emission, weapons test, someone crashing a vehicle into the sea. Or maybe, like my sister says, it's the ice talkers. Say ice talkers one more time and you're fired. Ice talkers? I want to hear more about these ice talkers. Dinor. Uh, how do I talk to you, sir? The numbers check out. I, I don't know what else I can do to strengthen my argument. I... Oh, hello. You're that rider alien everyone's talking about. What can I do for you? It's still weird to... He's not wrong. We are aliens. Uh, but it's like, no, you guys are the aliens. We're human. I don't know. Ice talkers. You said something about ice talkers? What are those? Oh, that's something of a joke between me, journalists, and everyone who went to school with us in Australia. Australia. One of my classmates was at an old archaeological dig and thought he heard a voice through the ice. 
Two months later, another group claimed they heard the same thing. An angry voice. What was it? Too much Malay. That's what Janlith says. Now it's become something of a joke between us. Freaking joke, man. Bellin says, here's a question. How is it such a small population in an entire cluster of a galaxy? Are the Keth from that galaxy? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think the Keth are... Uh, are... Uh, original... residents. So this cluster is like as if we were in the Terminus system. I haven't heard of a species traveling between galaxies other than the Initiative. And also, I mean, I guess the Edgar were here too. Before we got here, I think. But it's kind of hard to tell because we really haven't learned too much about um, the Edgara. We've been to the home planet that they're currently living on and then their home world. Um, but not much. Uh, but I, I, I think they're, they were originally from here too. Everybody says there are no mass relays here, so we can't travel to other clusters or whatever they're called. Um, yeah, we can only go to systems. We're in the Helios cluster and everything that we go travel between is just systems. So we're only in one cluster compared to how, um, it was in the, the trilogy. But yeah. Ah, you're Ryder. It's an honor to meet you. What can I do for you? Ice Talkers! Talk to me about Ice Talkers right now. Do it. You were saying something about Ice Talkers? Huh. Don't let anyone hear you. Stupid story that started years ago when Dinor and I were students in Australia. Talk to Dino. He knows more about how that tale spread. Ice block? What are you doing with this giant block of ice? That was cut out from below Hajara. We're right above an inland sea and the ice goes deep. Very deep. Everything under the first layer was perfectly preserved from a time before the Scourge. There's a lot we can learn from the composition of the deeper layers. Microbes, ancient life forms, all untouched by the Scourge. There we go. I won't disturb your work. Only the cat showed us the same courtesy. This is probably going to be a series. Yeah, it probably will be. I don't know how it ends, but this is this this will probably be the next series. Hopefully, they don't mess it up. Please make it better. Please fix the mistakes. The things you did wrong in this game. Take the time to develop it. But yeah. The Nexus looks a lot like the Citadel, aka Mass Relay. Yeah, it, it does look like the Citadel. It does. Yeah, the whole point of the Andromeda Initiative is to find a uh, a planet or planets that we can live on. We can take all the remaining people out of the cryo uh, chambers and the stasis pods and all that stuff, and start building a new a new world, if that makes sense. Um, so most of these planets are going to be like there's not really a, a lot of uh, a lot of people and things on it because uh, we have to discover it. But aside from that, like I don't know, we don't really know too much more. Probably an issue with the de-icing system. I'll take a look. Yaret. Where Yaret? 
girl, come on, man. Why can't I talk to you? It's hard to get the E button to pop up for some reason. I don't, you have to stand like pretty far back. Feels like, oh my god. I'm trying to talk to an NPC in game. I can't, there's no E button. God. I saw your ship land earlier. Impressive vehicle. I was about to say the same to you. Is that thing Ket? Sure is. On our last dig, the Ket destroyed our land cruiser. So I decided to repurpose one of theirs. It's only fair. Did the Ket give you trouble? You run into the Ket a lot out here? Once in a while. We will have combat training, so we hold our own. The sky is the real problem. That Ket base will shoot anything above the ground. Okay. Okay. I didn't know there was another Ket base on here. I thought the facility that we did last session was the only Ket base, but I guess not. I guess not. It's so different from Mass Effect 1 in terms of jumping right into a big storyline. This game doesn't captivate me right off the bat like Mass Effect 1 did in that way. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And then it's like, how can they top the whole Reaper storyline and mankind's going to be destroyed and all that stuff? Like, how do they top that? I don't know, man. I don't know how they top it. Um, let's see. Everybody says, I still maintain that Sovereign looks like Patrick Starr. Yeah. Pretty much. Imagine the Reaper noise like the one Mike has for followers, but with this picture. Oh, it's a picture of Patrick or what? <laughs> Do it, Mike. New follower notification. It's too late, man. It's too late. We switched it to Andromeda sort of themed. Uh, Ket 